Well, welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I would uh, do a distro review and uh, if you haven't guessed already this is actually Robo Linux uh, 8.2. Now I don't know a whole lot about Robo Linux but I do know that uh, it's based on Debian and I had a little bit of in, a little bit of difficulty burning the uh, the the ISO. Uh, I don't see Robo Linux is a little bit different. They will let you try it, but they will not let you install it unless you pay a nominal fee. It, it was like two dollars and seventy two cents U.S. money. Um, which I found was reasonable because I think their um, main highlight, main feature of the of this distribution is the fact that they provide a means to run Windows uh, through VirtualBox. Now, I have not tried it. At some point, I will because I think I'm going to leave it on my system um, and. Uh, fool around with it for a little while. So I do have Windows 10 and I will probably try to run Windows 10 through the virtual box. But um, as I said it's based upon Debian. Uh, I ended up actually once I paid for the installer uh, and I downloaded the full package I ended up having to burn it to a DVD. That was the only way I could get it to install. So I burned it to a DVD and it, using the DVD it installed without a problem. Now um, it's got a, a typical Debian installer um, and I had to, uh, I wasn't using the whole drive so I had to dictate where the root was going to be installed, where the boot, and where the swap. Uh, but that's not an issue. Now, I did notice that when I booted up the DVD, it didn't give me the option of an EFI install. So this is actually a legacy install using Grub2. So, uh, but it booted up fine. Uh, I went, I actually went into man, my Manjaro install ran sudo os prober uh, so that Manjaro could pick up all of the uh, operating systems on the three drives that I have in this computer and um, and then once I ran sudo uh, update grub um, when I rebooted I had a boot screen with the Manjaro as default um, but it had my Windows listed and Debian and everything was listed fine and I was able I can boot into any of the systems that I want so the Debian uh, Robo Linux install did go very well now I I downloaded the Mate version um, because most of the time I run XFCE but I do like Mate and so with this particular install I chose the Mate desktop. Now let me pull up their website and we'll take a look at what they have available. Now th this Stealth VM is their virtual machine uh, that they use to run Windows. And you can download a version for Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE. So um, they have a pretty interesting operation, pretty interesting website. Now if you go to click on download uh, and then let's see, you, go, you have to go down the bottom scroll all the way down and I believe you have to click on the version you want now this is the down this is the uh, mate mate raptor uh, version 8.2 complete OS with installer and uh, 
it is very nice uh, you can see it was two dollars and thirty seven cents so once you pay that then you can download with the installer and it comes through as you can see on my desktop it comes through with the um, shortcut to install Windows or what they call C drive um, so if you have Windows on C drive then you can install it to virtual machine and run it through Robo Linux which is very nice they have a private web browser free spider oak cloud account contact Robo Linux and then devices are mounted now the uh, this is exactly what you see when you uh, boot up uh, I didn't change anything the the, the uh, theme is the same uh, everything is basically the same the only thing I did do is I installed the GUVC view I think Kazam was already there and I installed OpenShot but other than that I haven't really done anything to the system now let me take you through a couple of interesting things I went through it to see what was unique what stands out what makes Robo Linux, Robo Linux special uh, because I believe they feel that they have uh, features that no one else has now I wasn't sure if that was only this virtual machine windows setup but as it sta as it turns out I did find a few things in here now if you're under accessories I'm not going to go through everything but you do have lucky backup uh, catfish file search now here's where we get a little different you see all the drivers that are available now this machine has onboard graphics and onboard audio audio so I don't really have anything uh, unusual on this particular machine uh, I will install it on my main machine with NVIDIA graphics Broadcom Wi-Fi and I'll see how that goes but you can see the Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers are all listed here and uh, you've got uh, AMD uh, NVIDIA drivers so uh, it looks like they have pretty much everything covered which is pretty unusual um, you don't find that often uh, here you can see they've got some brother printer drivers set up already um, and I brought there's a Canon and Epson so they've gone through a lot of trouble putting all these drivers uh, into the menu and making them available for you so you can install your hardware uh, education is just LibreOffice math now for graphics they do have Shotwell image magic uh, the full they have the full LibreOffice package uh, and GIMP GIMP is installed now here that they have installers uh, that's unusual you don't see that menu item um, much within a Linux installation but here you can uh, you can choose to install any of these listed here so you've got clam antivirus Google Earth um, there's a 64-bit version of Firefox Caden live Plex media server popcorn time shutter uh, Thunderbird there's a Tor 64-bit browser installer, chat installer, and a download manager. So you can go ahead and install those after you do your, you know, your hard drive installation. For internet, uh, there's a torrent uh, manager, Firefox, Spider Oak. I don't know what that is. I imagine, imagine it's like a uh, Dropbox type thing. Uh, Google Chrome along with Firefox, Pigeon, uh, Private Internet Access, Robo Linux News, Skype, Thunderbird, Office, they've got the usual um, installation of LibreOffice, uh, Document Viewer, Sound and Video, they have, uh, I, I installed a few as I mentioned, but they have Rhythmbox, VLC, Sound Juicer. Uh, copy music from your CDs uh, and there's the stealth virtual machine um, you can see you can use this to select what version of Windows you'd like to 
install on your virtual machine. And so um, I may go through and try this Windows 10 64 installer since I do have Windows 10. Might take a look at that. System tools are the usual. Um, you can upgrade automatic upgrade Robo Linux 64 version. So as they introduce uh, a new version, you can do the no do the automatic upgrade. Other than that, it's most of the Mate um, software installed. Universal access. There's a screen reader. Then you have, of course, places system. Uh, you have preferences where you can configure and then uh, administration gparted is installed uh, and let's see and then the control center is the typical mate control center I haven't done anything in here yet let's take a look in appearance to see what they have uh, this is the the standard default theme out of the box there's a few more in here as you can see and I like the uh, default so that's fine they have multiple backgrounds and I'm gonna stick with the uh, the one that was installed out of the box but there are many others fonts and then of course you can customize colors window borders icons and pointer uh, so let's see that looks like uh, that looks like it uh, that's the standard mate control center so all in all it booted up fine it runs fine it did uh, configure my Ethernet and my my Wi-Fi with no problem graphics have been fine sound is fine don't see any uh, issues at all I did do the update I went through the update and I had to go into the sources list because it was um, trying to pull from the CD which is typical with a Debian install um, many times the uh, CD um, listing in the sources list is not commented out and so you get a little error message when you try to update so I went into sources and uh, commented out the uh, CD and everything's fine so um, so that's it guys this is uh, Robo Linux the Mate version 8.2 based on Debbie and Jesse uh, and I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions post them in the comments I'm going to go through and set it up the way I usually do and uh, run it for a few a few days. Now if I do uh, decide to go ahead with the Windows 10 virtual machine install through Robo Linux, then I will do another video on that to let you know how that how that came out. So that's it for today guys. Please uh, rate, comment and subscribe. And uh, as always, I will see you soon. Take care.